Shalom. So I am going to show you guys a video. I'm not going to give you too much information about the video. I am just going to let you watch it. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to discuss it. All right. Here we go. seem to think you do. What's your favorite color? Black. Other than black. Oh, um, charcoal? Why are you all dressed up? It's not Halloween yet. Can I help you? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Do you want to find out? You buckled? I'm still wearing my princess dress. Do you want to wear it? Hey, you... Princess! You look like a girl. Why are you wearing that? Dressing like this makes me feel good. Is that your nanny? She looks weird. You look weird, your nanny looks weird, you guys are both weird. No, we're just different. Boys don't wear dresses. Whoa! Whoa! Where is it coming from? What's happening? All right, so that's the video. So I know that <laughs> some people are gonna think this is an anti-Halloween video. That's not what this video is about, although I am anti-Halloween. Anti and some people immediately got the surface thing that's going on here. Um, obviously this is an LGBTQIAX whatever type of meaning behind it. You know, something that's being pushed on our kids. But there's something else that I saw from my past <laughs> that really stood out to me. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. All right. So check this out. Okay. So I wanted you guys to, and I'm doing this very bootleg, but you know what? You work with what you have. <laughs> I want you guys to see this. See where I am. Okay. See things I got going on. Now, when you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is a hyperlink that says theory and practice. We're going to go here. And I want you to see where it says the nine satanic statements. And this used to be the nine, um, the 11 satanic principles, but now it's called the 11 satanic rules of the earth. So actually, I'm going to go there first. I'm going to read these off to you. Do not give opinions or advice unless you are asked. Do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. When in another's lair, show him respect or else don't go there. If a guest in your lair annoys you, treat him cruelly and without mercy. Do not make sexual advances unless you are giving the mating signal. Do not take that which does not belong to you unless it is a burden to the other person and he cries out to be relieved. Acknowledging the power of magic if you have employed it successfully to obtain your desires. If you deny the power of magic after having called upon it with success, you will lose all you have obtained. Do not complain about anything to which you need to subject yourself. Do not harm little children. That's the one I really want you to, to realize. Do not harm little children. Do not kill non-human animals 
unless you are attacked or for food. When walking in open, ter- in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask him to stop. If he does not stop, destroy him. So 11 and 9 are the two that I really just want you to pay attention to. Okay? Do not harm little children. And when you are walking in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask him to stop. If he does not stop, destroy him. All right, so now let's go look at the nine satanic statements. I don't know why, what's going on with my computer. Okay. Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. Satan represents vital existence instead of spiritual pipe dreams. Satan represents undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self defeat a uh, deceit. I'm sorry. Satan represents kindness to others who deserve it instead of love wasted on ingrates. Satan represents vengeance instead of turning the other cheek. Satan represents responsibility to the responsible instead of concern for psychic vampires. Oh, you stealing my energy. You got bad vibes. You, you vibrate in low. Sound familiar? Psychic vampires. Satan represents man as just another animal, sometimes better, more often worse than those that walk on all fours, who, because of this divine spiritual and intellectual development, has become the most vicious animal of all. Satan represents all of the so-called sins as they are led to physical, mental, and, and ment- emotional I'm sorry, gratification. Satan has been the best friend the church has ever had as he has kept it in business all these years. What does all this mean? (laughs) So to the naked eye, it appears that this is um, promoting um, children's right to identify as whomever or whatever they decide to, um, blurring the gender lines. um, And we all, we always go, oh, LGBTQ. But what I just showed you was that that's not where the thought originated from. Anton LaVey is the founder of the Church of Satan. And he is a a follower of, well, he was because he's deceased, but he was a follower of Aleister Crowley, okay, who is a huge Satanist. Um, As a matter of fact, um, do as thy wilt. That's a a quote that you hear, uh, that you see Jay-Z promoting that came from out Al- Alista Crowley. Okay. Do as thy wilt. <laughs> so, um, just want to point out that there's always a root foundation to these things. People don't just wake up one day and have these bright ideas without there being an underlying influence. You're either influenced by the kingdom of Yahuwah or the kingdom of Satan. You see what I'm saying? What happened in this? The little boy wanted to dress. First and foremost, his nanny was um, a witch. And they disguised it by having it come out during Halloween. Even though in the video, in the video it wasn't Halloween. Because you remember the little girls were like, why are you dressed up? It's not Halloween. But the, the commercial came out during Halloween. So nine times out of ten, we're not going to be like, why is a witch a nanny? Like, why is she coming to nanny the child? Second of all, notice there's no parents around. Like, Moving forward. <laughs> why is the little boy by himself? You never see the parents. Then the little girls say something to him about him wearing a dress. He runs back in shame. And the nanny is basically like flexing her satanic powers of witchcraft against these children, mind you. These are children. These are not adults. These are children. And the, ch- the, the girls are just like, whatever, dude. Then they go to the park. And this little boy, again, a child, okay? A child walks up and has something to say to the little boy. And the little boy, when the nanny sees that he is being picked on by this other little boy, what does she do? She invokes vengeance. <laughs> against a kid like he's a kid man but let's go back to the 11 satanic rules of the earth because nine says do not harm little children 
So harm is not always physical. Sometimes it's mental. Sometimes it's emotional. All right. And sometimes it's even spiritual. So do not harm little children. There was no specification as to whom wasn't, was not supposed to harm these children. Then 11 says, when walking in open territory, they were in a park, open territory, bother no one. They weren't bothering anybody. They were by themselves. If someone bothers you, little boy comes out of nowhere and is teasing them about wearing this dress. You ask him to stop. If he doesn't stop, destroy him. What does she do? He doesn't stop. She like does her little magic and, and the kid goes flying away. Okay. This is more than just a freedom of choice type thing. This is the type of things. And then at the, at the end, you see that it's a Twix commercial. Please tell me what any of that has to do with Twix. Please. Like literally the entire commercial had nothing to do. They weren't eating Twix. They weren't trick or treating. Like they had nothing. To, there was no candy anywhere. And then they're like, oh yeah, by the way, Twix. Come on, dude. It's it's not even subliminal anymore. It's just, it's really in your face. Okay? It's in your face. And here's the thing. The Satanists aren't even the ones you got to be <laughs> really worried about, which as a child, like, wow, you don't have to be worried at all. But they're not really the ones you have to look out for. Satanists are more just like Christian trolls. They do stuff because they know it irritates Christians. Meh. <laughs> but the Luciferians... And Luciferians and Satanists are not the same. Go talk to, to go talk to a Luciferian and a Satanist, and they will tell you we're not the same. Okay, the Luciferians are the ones that are covert. They're the ones that are your doctors, your lawyers. They're the ones that do the things that are hidden. They're the ones that have hidden agendas. They do the things in the darkness. This is flat out in the open. Like, come on now, it's a whole commercial for Twix with not a Twix in sight. Except for the end when the logo pops up. So just want to, just want to, you know, put this out there for you guys because it's a lot of us out here. I was talking to my dad earlier today and I said, you know, it amazes me how many people are coming out of the occult, myself included, coming out of the occult and warning people, hey, this is what's really, this is what this really is. This is what this really is. This is what this really is. I'm talking about people that have walked with the kingdom of darkness, not in darkness, but willingly walk with the kingdom of darkness and are warning people. And we're just like, eh, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. Okay, and how many deliverance services do you have to go to before you understand you got to close these doors? Otherwise, the kingdom of darkness has legal access into your life. If you're out here flirting with the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of darkness has legal access into your life. You could pray whatever prayer you want to pray. You are opening doors or leaving the door open until you close the door, i.e. letting go of those things that's keeping that door open. You're going to have attacks. And the more you leave the door open, the more you're going to miss stuff like this. Eh, let him choose. It's okay. Who cares? If he wants to be a princess, let him be a princess. Not realizing that, that that's just the front. You know mobs? So the mob, the mob, the mafia, what do they have? They have front stores, usually a restaurant, a dry cleaning service, something. It's a business that covers up what's really going on. It's the same thing with this <laughs> it's a commercial for this thing over here that's really covering up this thing over here watch and pray so you won't be deceived because if you're not watching and you're not praying you will be deceived you will you will fall underneath the great delusion the strong delusion that has come upon the earth okay